Hello, welcome to Bhuvanam. Today, in our teen corner cookery section, we are going to see a delicious chocolate chip muffin recipe contributed by our teen chef just for you. Today's thought for the day, for getting success, there is only one lesson. Keep your focus on goal and go for it with passion. Hi, today I'm going to be making chocolate chip muffins for a very special person who's celebrating her 16th birthday today. I hope she enjoys it as much as I enjoyed making it. So let's get started. For this recipe, I'll be using plain flour um, and we'll be using about two and a half cups, which is equivalent to around 625 grams. Our next ingredient is granulated sugar and we will be using one cup or 250 grams. Next we'll be using chocolate chips. Um, if you would like to, you could use um, blueberries or any other fruit. It's completely up to you, but I'll be using chocolate for this recipe. We'll need about one cup. You can add more or you can add less. That's up to you, depending on how much you like. And one cup is equivalent to 250 grams. Next we'll be using two large eggs. Next, I will be using one tablespoon of baking powder and one teaspoon of baking soda, which is the same thing as bicarbonate of soda. I'll be using a quarter of a cup of butter and a quarter of a cup of coconut oil. You can use any oil that you want, um, except for olive oil, in my opinion, because the flavour is a bit too overwhelming and strong. Um, I personally like coconut oil because it adds some flavour to the muffins. Then I'll be using one cup of milk, which is equivalent to 250 millilitres and half a teaspoon of salt. And our final ingredient is vanilla extract and we'll be using one tablespoon of it. Now I'm just going to preheat my oven at around about 200 degrees Celsius. Um, just for as long as it takes to combine all the ingredients together. Now we're going to get started and put all the ingredients together. So I've separated the ingredients between the wet ones and the dry ones. So first I'm going to start with the dry ingredients. So over here we have baking soda, which I'm going to sieve through. And then I'm going to take my baking powder and also sieve that through. Next, I'm going to add the salt, which doesn't really need to be sieved. And then I'm going to take my flour and add it in gradually. It's in the um, packet, it was already pre-sieved, but I'm just going to do it anyways. And then I'm going to take a spatula, not a whisk, and then mix everything. Um, with muffins, it's really important to not over mix things because otherwise it gets really dense at the end. So to prevent that, lightly fold in all the ingredients rather than whisk it all together. For the purpose of baking, we don't really include sugar as part of the dry ingredients, we add it to the wet ingredients. Now we're just going to continue to fold all of this together. So in our wet bowl, we'll be combining the sugar, butter, coconut oil, vanilla extract, eggs and the milk. And oh, by the way, for the milk, you could also use buttermilk, but for the, for the sake of the ingredients that I have, I'll be using regular milk. So first I'm going to add in my granulated sugar, the two eggs, And I'm just going to keep combining it and mixing it as I go along. And then I'm going to add the butter. If there's some leftover, that's okay. We can use it for greasing the pan later. And then our coconut oil. And finally, the vanilla extract. 
which is one tablespoon. And then just mix all of this together. Finally, we've added the milk and I'm just going to continue to mix it completely. Now we're going to combine the wet and dry ingredients. So I'm not going to throw all the dry ingredients into the wet ones yet. I'm just going to add half of it and then combine it until it's fully mixed in and then add the other half. Also remember to fold the mixture and not to like whisk it because as I said before, it's really important for muffins to make sure that it's not dense and stodgy at the end. So now I'm going to add in the chocolate chunks. These ones are quite big, but I, I just like them larger. But if you want smaller ones, that's, that's up to you. And these are milk chocolate, but I've tried them with dark chocolate and it tastes just as good. And just continue to fold. Not mix, remember. Now I'm going to cover it up with some cling film and put it in the fridge for about 30 minutes just to let it settle slightly. So now I've taken the mixture out of the fridge and now I'm going to start putting it into my tray. Now that our mixture is out of the fridge, we're going to put it in the tray. So I've got these muffin cases over here, so I'm just going to line the tray with these in several different colours. So now I'm going to put our mixture into our cases and fill it up until they're about halfway to three quarters full. So just for some fun, I'm going to put some chocolate on top. It's the same chocolate chips that I put in my muffins, but um, I chopped them up a little bit more. To give it like a bakery finish, I'm going to put some coarse sugar on top um, to add some crunch to it. Just a sprinkle should be good enough. So now that we're done, I'm going to pop it in the oven for about 15 minutes at 190 degrees Celsius. There we go. So now we're done and I'm going to take it out of the oven. The, the kitchen smells amazing. And yeah, I can't wait. So I've taken it out of the oven and I'm leaving it to cool on a wire rack for about two minutes. And as we can see, it looks amazing. Like the sugar on top looks great. It's a really nice finish. And I'll add some crunch when I have it later. And I can't wait to try them. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like, share and subscribe to Boobina.